Okay, we're starting doing another bit from the sudden violence methods. Uh, the most important thing in sudden violence is your timing. If you haven't got timing, you've got nothing. But then that goes for everything we do, of course. Uh, to demonstrate this point, I'll tell you about something I saw on the sports uh, thing yesterday. They were given that thing on the news. I don't watch sports channels, but it was, it was with the news. And they were showing, like, hits of the week and where they make all the silly mistakes and things and people fall off motorbikes and all that. And they had one thing in America where they're playing, playing baseball and the guy winds up and he goes, whop, and he hits the, the batter right in the balls with the ball, you see. So the batter really doesn't like this, so he throws his bat down, he comes rushing, rushing at this guy. You know, how far are they? Right down there, away from that thing, and he, and he comes rushing at this guy. Now the guy running did two, two, two mistakes. And the guy standing made one mistake. Because the guy who the guy who's being ran at run at, he just stood there. I said, This is this is amazing. Here's a guy running at him, raged like a bull, gonna beat the living daylights out of him. And the guy's just standing there, waiting for him to come. And the guy got right to here and then he grabbed him <laughs> and they ended up rolling on the ground and no one got hurt which was great in that situation because, you know, it wasn't a life or death situation, it was just anger, uh, two conflicting personalities getting hit in, <laughs> hit in the balls with a really hard baseball ball, ball on balls, and they ended up rolling on the ground. So the guy doing the, doing the running made two mistakes. He first of all rushed at him, you never do that. And secondly, he, when he got there, he didn't hit him, he just grabbed him. Which is silly. Balls, yeah. <laughs> he wanted a hug. Yeah. The guy standing there, he actually he made two mistakes. First of all, he just stood there. So it's the basic thing they always keep saying. Don't be where your opponent expects you to be. So he was still where his opponent expected him to be. He didn't move. Secondly, he didn't do anything when the guy got there. He waited for the guy to grab him, and then they wrestled and rolled on the ground. Then the people came and parted them, and that was it. Had they done sudden violence, we would have had two dead people on the ground. <laughs> well, I mean, where would he run to? I mean, you'd just be running around the diamond. No, no, no. Just step aside, like, being, when you say not be in the same place. Yeah, don't be in the same place. Don't be there, so be here. Yeah, right. right. Right? That's what I mean. I don't mean run away. Yeah. That's, that's also the, well, in this case... Yeah. It would have been correct for him to run away because he could have got away, you see. But in most cases, if someone's there and they start attacking you, you first of all got to turn around to run away. And you can't run backwards. He can run much faster than you. And we've proven this many times. Even remember with, um, what was his name? I've forgotten his name now. We did an experiment on camera, MTG 55. No, no, one of, he lives over there. One of our really well-known ex-students, it's Peter. Peter. And I got him to run away at varying degrees, at varying distances, you see. And it got up, he got up to about 20 feet away before I couldn't catch him over a, over a sufficient distance. Because he's much younger than me, he can probably run faster. No, he probably couldn't run faster than me. But still, it took him 20 feet away before I would have thought twice about catching him, you see? Because he's facing me, he has to turn to run. And by that time, I've taken him by surprise, I'm already there. By the time he gets get speed up, I've caught him. So you never run away from anyone, but in that case, of course, it would have been okay to run away because he's so f sufficiently far away from him to get, it, get back in there, you know? But because of ego, he didn't want to... You could see the guy at the bowler sitting there going, oh, shit. You know, but he didn't want to show any fear, so he had to stand there. But he, he didn't know what to do. These big guys, they don't know what to do. You see it on the rugby field, you see it on the football field. They have no idea of what to do, you know. And thank God they don't, really. Yeah. And like you were saying in that scenario, he, he ran up to the guy, but because it was in that scenario, there's no other way you could get to, get to him. Like, there's no, there's no way you can sneak around somebody casually. Like no, no, he, you know, he's... he's <laughs> <laughs> He's running from there to here, but what a stupid thing to do, you know. 
over that distance, you would think that anyone who's not uh, pumped up on steroids would, nah, nah, oh, geez, why am I doing this? Nah, nah. Oh, okay, see ya, and go back, you know. But these guys are so raged uh, that they can't, it didn't hurt each other, which is stupid. You see it on the rugby field, they get...